Been a while since I've been here. Whoa. What is she doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. Um, I forgot to mention, Olivia went on a little expedition of her own while you were gone. And this Olivia person came back with her? Did you know about this? Did Eligard put you up to this? You think you know a guy, and then bam. And this is a problem? <laughs> you bet your butt it's a problem. No way am I working with her. Not after... Ugh. Jesse, Jesse, look, I found Eligard. Just hang on a sec, okay? I'll go figure out what's going on. Good, you do that. Easy now, Olivia. Let's try and play it cool. Hmm? So, who are you now? And why did you bring him with you? We're reuniting the Order of the Stone. It was kind of crazy, actually. I went to Redstonia, and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually. But Eligard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. I mean, after what happened. I know, I'm sorry. So sorry. Redstonia? It's like a town devoted to nothing but engineering and invention. It's amazing. And I was pretty out of my league. She might have, well, embarrassed herself. A tiny bit. Yeah. But after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Oh, hooray! It's Ellie. And here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember. Which is to say, not at all. Oh, my feelings. Is that the same wit you're going to use to save the world? Why? You here to tell me how to do it better? Oh, I would never dream of doing that. Unlike you, I actually do things instead of just talking about them. Hey, that's Eligard you're talking to. Show her some respect. Wow, you finally found yourself a live one. Hey, would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people... Can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. Yeah, I'll admit, that thing looked real nasty. And I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey, you weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But even if we had all the TNT for miles around, I don't know if it would be enough. Only Soren were here. He might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. Do you know where it is? Can we get some? Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him.
There's your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the Order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super TNT. Didn't do that before. Blue. Blue! That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Perfect. We can wait till tomorrow morning and travel with a full day's sunlight. Uh, and is that thing catching up with us? I think I've had enough wither storm for one day. Uh, thank you very much. Right, because getting caught out there in the dark is so much better. Trust me. If you had seen this thing, you wouldn't want to stick around. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go, now. Jesse here's talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that plan. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but... Fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Jesse, right? Oh, hello. We haven't had the chance to acquaint ourselves properly. I hear that you saved your friend Petra from this wither storm. Sounds like you're a pretty impressive individual. Picks fights with lots of monsters? Always defending the weak and defenseless? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. I can always appreciate humility. I like you. In any case, I sort of wish that you had taken my side earlier, but water under the bridge and all that. A slight tangent, what's the uh, deal with your friend Olivia? I appreciate her enthusiasm, but she can be a little much sometimes. She's always very eager to jump in and help. Olivia is one of my best friends. She's smart and she always has a plan. Oh, wow, interesting. So. Why didn't you listen to her plan to come and recruit me? Not to make it awkward or anything. Or to demand, why didn't you want to recruit me? <laughs> Just curiosity. I figured that we needed firepower, and no one knows destruction better than Magnus. The man does know how to blow things up with reckless abandon, that's for sure. I'll do my best to not let it hurt my feelings. <laughs> joke. That was a joke. And exactly why we should have waited till morning. At least the wither storm isn't tearing us apart right now, all right? Well, we can hash that out later, because we've got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther. We can make it. Soren really lived down here? 
it's so far from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> Yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! <laughs> Just don't fall, okay? <sighs> oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. Crazy. I'm more curious why the ground kept moving. It's so weird. Whoa! Look! What is that? Enderman. What are they doing down there? I'm not sure. But I'm glad we're not a part of it. Come on! We should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow. This architecture is incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Oh, be quiet! It's just a pointless building! That's all I'm saying! I mean, look at- it... if an artist painted the ends, that's it! I'm going! Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this Super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no! You do not get to be the one who walks away! That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. But let's split up. bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. 